Hi, this is Sean with Cenos USA. And today I want to take a moment to show you the incredible searching power of the Cenos video management platform. This is going to work with both IP cameras as well as your old analog existing cameras. I'm going to give us a simple scenario that involves a trash can and maybe the trash company. So we want to find out when the trash may have come. We know it comes on Thursdays, but we don't really know what time. So using our advanced motion area search function, we're going to click it on the left here. We're going to highlight the trash can, play it in reverse, and instantly you can see where the trash company is now picking it up. It was that easy. Now I've zoomed into the timeline and I can easily jog shuttle it. For real quick details of what happened during that scene. I can also use digital zoom to zoom in to any aspect of the camera. Now you might be thinking, that was easy, that was only an hour or two ago. Now what if we wanted to find something weeks ago? Quickly go up to the right hand side, pull out our calendar search with a left click, and let's go back to the fourth, that's two weeks ago. Hit select, and instantly again, we found the trash company. Now they're parked out on the street here, so I can't really see their vehicle. We can quickly bring out other cameras and sync them to the exact time that we found. Let's do that. Up here on the top left, I'm gonna hit quick layout number two. And as you can see, it synced up two additional cameras to that exact spot in time. Again, I can zoom into the timeline, jog shuttle, and see everything that's happened. Now what if I wanted to take note of these incidents in these times? It's easy. All I have to do is hit the space bar, and you can see it dropped a yellow bookmark down. And again, let's go back to our present time trash pickup, play it in reverse again, and there it is. I can hit the space bar again, and now I can bring out my bookmarks, and I can see that I've got two bookmarks, two, one described on the 4th and one described today on the 18th. I can easily go back to each one of those just by clicking the date and time. It's incredible how fast the system's going back two weeks in time and pulling up footage. So now that I've got my events and I want to back them up, using our timeline again, let's go back to the front of the incident, or the first part of the incident rather. And right now I'm just easily sliding the timeline to create seamless motion back in time. So we can see that right there is about when they arrived. Now to get the incident I can make that the beginning point. And then I can let it play through and drag it, quickly play through it and there they're gone so we'll bring them back real quick. And that was the end of that one. And I can select end. So now it made it green. I'll zoom out here so you can see that the duration of the event is just in the green there. So now I want to go ahead and include today's trash pickup on the 18th. I'll select that. And we're kind of in the middle of the pickup it looks like. So let's go back to the beginning of it. It appears that they'll show up. At 3.08. And there they are. You can easily zoom in again to get the finer details. So as they pull up here, I can add an interval, select beginning, and then again, throughout the, the trash pickup here, they're all finished up it looks like and driving off. Down the street they go on the top right camera and select end. So now, you can see I've got another interval. Now these intervals are two weeks apart, but I can easily back those up and export them out of the system now that they're selected. So now we'll just create a video clip. And this is gonna back it up as an AVI. I can save it to a specific file location right here and give it any name that I want. And that's all there is to it.